They blast walls, attack buses, and go to any height to get their names seen. Just to get known, fame. They call themselves taggers. Band together in groups called crews with as many as 500 members. It's not just any other crew, it's more like a family. And they are making a science out of massive vandalism. It's fun, you know, we do it because we like it. But as the taggers cross out each other's names, violence is erupting. We shoot whoever we want. At least 30,000 taggers are on the streets. Most of the other taggers are around, they, they be fighting now, you know. And today, the hiss of the spray can competes with the crack of the gun. My son is dead. This is Tagger Wars, a Fox News special report. It is about nine o'clock at night. A small figure leaps from the darkness and shinnies up the pole that supports a gigantic freeway sign. He is a tagger, someone who spray paints initials all over the city. On the street, what you are watching now is called going to the heavens. It feels, you know, free, like, just free. It's just me, my fellow, in my can, spray can. All the people, they don't realize, you know, how it feels. It's wonderful for us. One false move, he falls 30 feet into a wall of speeding traffic, and most likely, he dies. His nickname is Strobe. He belongs to a group called STK. He is only 16 years old. And some of them, like, they don't want to risk their lives. But for me, like, fun. It's like an adventure to us, you know. We do heavens for fame, mostly for fame, so you could be known. But notice, before writing his own name on the sign, Strobe painted the letters STK. It is the name of his crew, 300 kids devoted to massive vandalism they call tagging. The initials stand for shoot to kill. Shoot to kill. And STK is only one of hundreds of tagger crews that spread across Southern California. Lone wolf graffiti vandals have spawned an entire new group subculture separate from street gangs. Here in the Florence Firestone area, several of the crews party together. The crew is, in fact, the center of their lives. This 16-year-old, known as 179 and convicted of vandalism, tonight fled house arrest to be with his crew. Ah, that. I ain't, ain't going to listen to no police or my parents. I got to do what I want to do. Kick it with the homies from STK Moran. Police estimate there are a minimum of 30,000 kids in tagger crews in L.A. County alone. And vandalism is their game. Armed with spray cans and grease pens, their trail marks the city like an infectious disease. But they don't see it that way. Everybody watch out for him. Everybody watch out for him. They see it as a game to write crew and nicknames as many times and as many places as possible. It is called getting up. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. And in this world of taggers, getting up is all important. It makes you feel proud. These walls in Linwood mark the stopping grounds of MKA, Meanest Kings Alive. We bad, ruthless. The oldest is only 15. You won't see their faces, but you will hear why tagging is so important to them and the thousands of other teenagers just like them. Hey, so, so we can get known for respect. All these people know about me and, and I don't know, I feel good about it. That's a reputation you get right there. Right there, you're respected because you're up. It's better than gang banging. There's nothing else to do. It's warm of heart, you know. And the taggers have it down to a science. <laughs> Striking in large groups at one time, they call it mobbing. There are those who work the dangerous freeway signs called the heavens, and those who dare to go even higher. Gives you a, a high, a good adrenaline. Like this taggard named Jimmer hanging from a seven-story window. Come on, man! But perhaps it's crews of bus killers that draw the most attention, as they daily swarm RTD bus stops all over the city. RTD buses are attractive targets for a very simple reason. Let's try to get your name on something that'll, uh, like, transport from one place to another. A lot of people see you. Hell yeah, baby! 
So crews hit buses from outside and inside, even using metal tools called scribes to etch crew names into bus windows. Get it! Get it! Aggressive taggers will hang on to the back of a bus for several blocks while they blast it with paint. But to decide who is really king of the buses, Rival crews regularly schedule actual contests called battles. We get like a, a, a certain period, like let's say uh, a week or something. Whoever writes more in that week, they win. Crews like LC or Loving Crime hit as many as 20 buses a day. A battle can scar as many as 200 buses in a week. They fight for spray cans or in what is known as a takeout, the losing crew agrees to retire their name. So they ain't taking still okay from me. CLK crazy little kids and CD causing disaster have been battling now for a week they have assembled in this southeast LA park where a previously selected judge will count passing buses to determine the winner you don't get shot and instead of shooting at each other you ride against each other but the taggers cost the county tens of millions of dollars a year in cleanup and law enforcement RTD police in particular have a battle going on all their own. Unfortunately, the tagging vandals don't seem to mind at all. Kind of fun is how we do it to be wanted. Yeah. That's some dumbass police, man. Let's <laughs> let's say that last time they chased me, they didn't even catch me. It's fun, man. It's just like adventure. The taggers, with contempt in their voice, call those who go after them heroes. Meanwhile, RTD offers a reward to those who help stop the vandals, and offenders are arrested daily. But many taggers say they are addicted. You can't stop writing. It's like your hands are always in that motion. It's just addicting. It's like a drug, if you could call it that. You know, you just always want to be writing, always writing. But today it is going from writing to guns, bullets, and death. A trend even tagger crews say is beginning to spray their world with the color red. That story next.